This is one of the most amazing stories, guys, that I have read since I started this YouTube channel. This is truly a breakthrough in battery technology and it is real. You can potentially apply it to almost any lithium battery being manufactured, whether that's BYD's batteries, whether that's Tesla batteries, whether that's Cale batteries, whether that's batteries from a numerous number of different manufacturers around the world. This is essentially, as far as I can tell, the biggest breakthrough in battery technology. And the reason is because it's so simple. It doesn't require some sort of revolutionary battery, it doesn't require solid state battery technology, but it enables charging a battery to 100% in 10 minutes. We haven't seen this before in a production vehicle, but one has been unveiled here in Australia that can charge to 100% in literally 10 minutes. Now, yes, there is a caveat to this story. The battery is not big, but it is in an EV. And this technology, I think, is something you need to know about because really you could potentially retrofit your vehicle with this kind of technology based on what I'm reading at the moment. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. To us, and welcome to all the new subscribers on the channel. Great to have all of you. Now, for those of you who are new, you just come onto the channel within the last month. I have an Xpeng G6. It can charge the battery. It's actually, I believe, one of the fastest charging EVs based in Europe. They did a test on about 30 different electric cars. It, will, it was the winner on that test and it charged from 10 to 80% of the battery in around 19 minutes, about 19, so nearly, nearly 20 minutes. Let's just say 20 minutes from 10 to 80%, right? That's really, really good because that means it beat every other Tesla, every other Tesla has been tested. It beat the Hyundai Ioniq 5, it beat lots of other electric cars, right? So 20 minutes is basically the standard from 10 to 80%. However, that looks really slow in comparison to this new battery technology. And intriguingly, it appears to be just really a development of changing the anode, right? In addition to that, this is one of the longest lasting batteries that I've ever seen. Apparently, not only can it charge at these ridiculous speeds, but it has 10,000 cycle battery life, meaning the battery will outlive the car by many, 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 many years. I mean, you could literally drive the car to death then put the battery pack in a new car, use the battery for some other purpose. This battery, 10,000 charging cycles is, yeah. I mean, you probably wouldn't do that within the space of 30 years of driving. Typically heavy duty industrial applications greatly benefit from fast charging, long cycle life and energy density to deliver efficient operational performance plus exceptional safety because of the nature of their use. That's what the company had to say. They're basically saying uh, this battery is game changing because it ticks every box. Normally you have the problem, right? Solar state batteries have the problem of what? Their big bottleneck, their big problem is they don't last long enough. They last for way too few short cycle life. You know, you're talking about 100 cycles or maybe four, four, 500, and then uh, they're finished. But this battery doesn't have that issue. So this battery was actually put into a Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series, and that was showcased in a live demonstration at the Australian Automation and Robotics Precinct in Perth on the 3rd of December as per Interesting Engineering. The team used Etchion's XNO anode material in the batteries to give it the ability to charge to 100% in 10 minutes. So what they've done is, you know, quite often the anodes in lithium batteries, uh, ternary lithium batteries, so NCM chemistry batteries, most of them use graphite anodes. Now, a lot of that will be changing in the future to silicon, but maybe it shouldn't. Maybe it should be changing to this material. Active anode materials are essential for the performance of lithium ion batteries. They play a significant role in storing and releasing lithium ions during charging and discharging cycles, said Etchion. Typically an anode material with a high lithium ion diffusion rate and a high ionic conductivity will result in better fast charging performance. This enables lithium ion batteries to safely charge in less than 10 minutes, a fraction of the time required for electric cars today. Now it is true that there are Zika EVs in China that can charge in 10 minutes, but that's from 10 to 80%. That's not all the way to 100%. XNO maintains high energy density even at extreme temperatures, making it ideal for demanding operating environments. And they also deliver a cycle life of more than 10,000. 
So realistically, this battery is game changing because of the fact that it it's not revolutionary in, sen- in the sense of having to be having to need entire new production lines, but it sounds like you could potentially retrofit existing batteries with this technology. So why have they put this battery into a Toyota Land Cruiser? Well, they're going to be using this for a comprehensive test and validation program to demonstrate the benefits of their XNO anode materials for heavy duty applications, such as this Toyota Land Cruiser. Etion's ability to provide XNO at scale. Here's the thing, they're saying they can provide these battery anodes at scale is underpinned by their partnership with CBMM, who are the world leader in niobium product production. And niobium is the key material being used in these anodes. Earlier this year, the two companies actually revealed the world's largest niobium anode manufacturing facility, capable of producing up to 2000 metric tons of XNO anode material annually. So how many EVs could you potentially manufacture with that much XNO anode material? Well, that's one gigawatt hours of lithium ion cells. With one gigawatt hour of batteries, you could potentially produce around 17,000 electric cars. So yeah, that's gonna be an issue, right? There's nowhere near enough of these anodes yet to mass produce these batteries. That's the one problem that I discovered that I don't think anyone else actually noticed. That said, it does appear that more of these factories could be built. So if, I mean, if these are mass produced, or at least we see more demand for these batteries, people are say, I'm basically saying we want faster charging EVs, then they potentially could just make more of them. There's a lot of excitement as well around niobium based anode batteries. Recently, Swiss energy storage firm Leosarch SA unveiled the world's first lithium ion battery cell featuring a niobium based active anode material called XN50. This battery is claimed to have a 50% better energy density than lithium batteries of today and can charge extremely quickly. 50% better energy density, well, I don't know what the exact number is, but at a potential of 400 kilowatt hours per kilogram, the energy density is around double that of the world's best lithium ion phosphate batteries today. According to the company, it also has a projected lifespan of more than 10,000 cycles. And it maintains the same power output, even with less than 3% battery capacity loss after extensive use. Seems to me this new battery anode chemistry really could be a potential major game changer. And as I said, with the excitement in the industry around this technology, there's a very high likelihood that some of the world's largest battery companies are paying a lot of notice and making plans for the future. Thanks for watching.